All right, guys, we're featuring over Pond Rock Cornerstone because you know I was be shortcutting it and calling it Rock. It'll be featuring Ogre Ogre Pond Ogre Pond Cornerstone. Not gonna lie to you, just took. I don't even remember who some team this was. Yeah, can't even credit somebody. But it took a Sun team and took the fire one off <laughs> and put the rock one on because we already used the fire one, we used the water one. Last one is actually Teal Mask, the one my opponent is packing. So this is a heavy uh, switching team. We got U turn on this, U turn on this, flip turn on this. I actually had U turn on this, but you know, it's like, you know, we have spin on two things and uh, rocks can make it half that heavy. Anyway. Uh, Walking Wakes um, Draco Meteor is out of this world. Because of that, I'm expecting. Yo, Tornadus is menacing. Tornadus is a menacing beast. I don't think I was supposed to have Rapid Spin on this. I think it's supposed to be Boca, but actually, in hindsight, I want Rapid Spin on this. Uh, Torkoal is not a reliable spinner. Um, I think they had Boca. But anyway, Tusk is good. Tusk is damn good, actually. Um, I think this can change its terror type to anything. I don't remember how they I think, I guess it's technically a mask. It's just a one mask that can hold an item. Something like that along those lines. Um, but anyway, moving forward. Very little downside to Torn early game, except the life score. So what we're gonna do is um, Walking Wake Cause this probably is his rocker. Oh, I mean, this is definitely his rocker. It allows for me to steam with the hydro here as he takes, of course. Of course. Um, this allows us to reposition here. I didn't expect Mola. Mola isn't bad for me. Uh, this allows for me to knock here. Score is in. There's nothing I could do about this pest. Could have U-turned there, but um, it was highly unlikely that he's gonna go for what I expected. So, I uh, guess spikes. Maybe he doesn't have rocks on this team. Just gonna U-turn here. Okay, so Mola is in Mola is now. We finally get to get the sun. Uh, I don't think these still run Whirlpool. If they do, about to look like a fool. I think you can wrap this for the world. Can you wrap this for Whirlpool? You see it? Has its... We want these bands up though. I don't see Whirlpool. So the rocks are going up. The rocks stocks are up, my friends. As... Uh, now walking away can fire off them Draco meters with little to no regard. Uh, this allows me to U-turn into um, walking wake. Uh, I mean, I should, you can protect all you want, buddy. In fact, I probably could just dra Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse probably to a Chaos Gambit. Nah, Draco is more. Um, Draco is more pound for pound. Oof! It actually did nothing. Actually, does disappointing damage. Uh, it does mean he dies on the next switch. And I'm not even like looking at my ogre pond. My ogre pond's beastly. So that guy, I spin very easily. Tusk is very problematic for him to switch into once Mola is gone. Uh, as Gambino comes in, uh, 41 percent. Hey, that's like a max HP gambit. Hey, there's just no way. So repositions into walking wicked, which is nothing to the boy torn. That shit is nothing. Your boy is ultra AV'd all the way up as he goes for the flamethrower. Oh, he thinks he's Lazar. That or he is not choice. Let's go Ogre Pond here. It's neutral, but yeah, he's called, so he's not choice. Doesn't get the burn, fortunately. So I wonder what walking wakes are running. I'm so used to walking wake being choice. Uh, power whip would hurt and this is very good versus him. So I'm actually not gonna just give it up uh, Like that spikes Spikes hurts a lot No, I have the edge you Draco's excellent 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 uh, He has spikes and toxic uh, Torco will eat uh, this frees up way giving it another switch But coal will get toxic. Is it worth it? Because alternatively no, I need the boost 
I could go hard tusk. The, the glide score isn't really the issue. I guess this is probably split F though. Um, so what we're gonna do is go coal first, uh, then Corbin I repositioned. He actually spikes, which is fine. Uh, this is great because it forces in the wake to get a KO, which he's trying to avoid. Um, there are a couple ways to go about this. Uh, I have quite a few win cons. I'm kind of curious what the Arcanine is. Probably for the, the other Ogre Pond. Um, I want my Corviknight at the utmost of health because it wins the game in the end. Uh, Gliscor only has Earthquake as we've seen. So, so it goes wake, which is fine. It's not fine, but it's fine, you know. Hmm. Terra Rock schedule is probably gonna do a lot. Wonder how much this break wind thing does. Let's find out. I, I, I asked Joey if it's weakened by um by um. So now you should uh, protect this turn, which is great. Uh, he actually straight toxic, which is bad for us. Um. But I get rid of the hazards, uh, which is helpful. Um, flip turns, and I get the sun back. So scores in, scores now. Can go back to Tusk every time because you should toxic. And I wake. Good double toxic, but Bro doesn't have the boss for that. And now I can Draco and get a kill. Let's see who wants it. I'm I'm just learning uh, what score is doing. I haven't seen too many scores thus far. Mola comes in. So the Ogre Ponder, he shows flip turn. Because at this point, Tornadus is really problematic. Um, I'm not playing the game super cleanly. Like, I could play the game cleaner, honestly. Um, I'm just kind of clicking a bunch of stuff. Uh, Wake is 399. That's not going to... Eh, it's going to hurt, but... Me getting Tusk Poison wasn't the wisest decision. Uh, the score took nothing from the... Um, score took nothing, so that means this... Corvi smashes this. If I had Protect... It would be me staring down score. Um, I mean, if he flip turns, it'd be me staring down score. At three turns, the sun. So it's better to turn. I know he's flip turning, but if he lets, if he lets, if he hard switches, because he's always going to go for toxic this turn. Um, if I hard switch to wake there, he would have lost. Well, I guess the protect would have failed, right? So. Would have been fine. Um, now he spikes. Score is annoying, but I can spin, so I'll let him do his thing. Uh, so we'll get this the hazards here, and then do this again. I think he's starting to realize, or maybe not. <laughs> As I get to K another KO here. Um actually didn't even look at my Draco PP. I need to be more careful. I wonder what Terra's these run. Part of me wants to uh, Hydra Steam at some point, but since his wake is so high, um, I can start Dragon Pulsing soon, but this might be Max Fidef. The way he's playing, I think Torn did nothing. Please hit. Thank you. It's gone. Wonderful, wonderful. Ogre Pond Grass. What does this do? I'm gonna go Corviknight and see. U turn, huh? Fortunately, I have spikes and wakes taking a lot of damage. Should it get to the point where I Swords Dance with my Ogre Pond and click moves? Um, I have two spinners. So that's blessed, right? Um, Ops for the Loma Mola. Uh, so this is where things are going to get, as CTC would say, shiced. 
Because now he's going to see the smoke. Is this the Syncret Encore? Like, why would you go to this? I'm not sure what this does, so let's go to Torn. It does get Encore, so this gives me phenomenal positioning. As uh, this thing is heavy duty boost as well, so I can U-turn no matter what. Um, gotta get my son back. He's used a lot of protects, so I'm gonna eventually stall out his protects and then Corviknight him. Corviknight his entire squad. Uh, do have Terror in hand still. If I go Corviknight now, actually let's patience this out. Cause he's slower than me, so I can always just U-turn, right? Um, my Tusk will die if I let him get away with this. Mm -hmm. I could go wake now and drop a hot one. He's gonna protect. Mm. Now you turn out. I don't think I can get around that. I'll give up Tusk. Especially if he doesn't even have anything to knock me out. If he only has flip turn, this is fine. So he protects, which implies that he mean he might have Skull too, right? Though Skull would put him in a bad position, so. Flip turns, which is fine, as we're staring, Gliscor is staring down, um, Walking Wake. I protect, uh, I mean, I force the protect, which means he only has six now. And I'm assuming he has Terra Water here. Um, so what I'll do is walk Torkoal. The reason being is I know walk, Walking Wake's coming. But walking Wake is nothing to my Torrenty. I'll actually rather have the sun up. Um, so, yeah, and he waits to protect and gives me spikes. So, I have one more key Draco, unless he's going to risk the double, the double protect. If he does get it, I'm finished. If he doesn't get it, he loses life score. So, that's my, there's no point in me preserving Dracos when it's a guaranteed KO, of assuming it, it connects. This is an important one, because this is the only thing stopping my motherfucking Scalds. Great, wonderful. Uh, I love Walking Wake, it's so sexy, so handsome. Um, now I just need to fire off these Hydra Steams. Not Scalds, I meant Hydra Steam. My Ogre Pond is problematic. He's, his is probably slow, just based on how he's playing. And he has Protect Flip Turn. Because now it's like, okay, how do you even beat my fucking Corviknight? Yeah. So you can do your thing. You can do your thing, but like Corviknight is playing no games. Question is, how am I going to spin? I can spin versus Ogre Pond, I suppose. Ogre Pond is taking it's Iron Defense here. Uh, Iron Defense again. He's never going hard, Ogre Pond. Can body press. Yeah. Because now he has to use up all his protects. Yeah, gone. Should what a, does she get called? What is he gonna do? I mean, at this point, I just dragon pull spam. Uh, maybe this gets called. Either way, I can always set up again. I mean, I know it gets called, but is it gonna use called? So it's Terra flying, which means I can now knock off. I can infinitely U-turn and go to Corviknight and U-turn again. And I can just go to Walking Wake. Actually, I just sack Torkoal and go to Walking Wake here. So let's wrap this the fuck up. We wrap it spin here. All right, and we go awake. And that is, I almost click flip turn. <laughs> and that's all she wrote. This fucking Mola is never in life taking this shit. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tear it here and put this boy in the dirt. Gone. Protects. So Walking Wake, I think, got almost every kill. Wait. It got, I think it got every kill except Gambit. I mean, except Ogre Pond. 
kill this, 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 this. Yeah, it got every kill except Ogre Pond. Um, so that, that was a fun one. Ogre Pond did absolutely nothing, but it wasn't its fault. Like, staring on score, come on now. Like, score is scum stuff. So, yeah, I'm sorry if you guys heard that. Uh, have fun, brother. So Ogre Pond is doing things. Ogre Pond's doing numbers out here. Bro has uh, a weird as fucking team. Weird as shit team. Like, I just really need to get rid of the gold angle and I iron defense body press this guy to death. Uh, but you know these guys love to sack their gold angle turn on. I actually didn't even make a game plan there. That was foolish of me. That was foolish of me. So I spin spam. Um, Rabombi is an issue. Fucking... It's gonna spin spam. Spin's doing good damage. Spin is doing good fucking damage. I can spin with two mons, but my funnily enough, Torco mashes him up just by itself. Ursaluna is, is blessed because I have a Torrenty, which is like its worst nightmare because I'm AV. Yeah, Blood Moon, that's or Blood Moon. Interesting. Uh, huh. We can U turn here. Uh, and here comes, here comes the storm. <laughs> you know what? Let me take this fucking uh. That flip turn is a little too close to that Hydra's team. I might have to move it over. Here comes the storm. <laughs> the wake is in. What he's gonna do is go to. If we go harder, bombies, it's over. Like since you can't sticky web. You know what? Watch, check this out. Now, this isn't necessary, but I just got to remi remind bro who he's dealing with. Uh, this is just a reminder to my friend here who he's motherfucking dealing with. Like, you got me fucked up going to Quaker Valley here. Unless you're Assault Vest, which I live. If you're bent, you got me fucked. Oh, that's Assault Vest. Aw bro, really Aqua stepped. Like he's Lazar. Uh, He'd CC here, but CC wouldn't kill. There's no way. Uh, fucking, that's, that's insane how little that did. Um, CC won't. I just don't want to risk this. I don't want to be in vacuum wave range or any of that stuff. Not when Wake just wins. Do we want to be careful of his Ogre Pawn? No, but. Um, let's just go Corbin out here. CC does nothing. And since he's. Um, Assault Vest. I'll roost this first turn. Uh, since the, the Quaker Val is a non factor, if its speed goes away, it's nothing. That's fucking Assault Vest. Do you see how little that did? That is stacked on stacked on stacked on stacked, and that still did nothing. I, in fact, I think he's freaking. Um, probably slower than me. He's probably faster than me. I mean, uh, agility. Okay, Lazar? Okay, Mr. Angeloff. Is he sub too? What is this? Gonna rocks first. Cause I can always yawn. Like I mean, there's no way you're fitting sub in agility. Like I refuse to accept that. Uh, so we're gonna yawn, bro. Bro, agility in front of a Torgo. Please hit Torgo. Okay, that's fine. Just don't let too much bullshit happen, Cole. Cause you know. You know how this shit go. Okay. The so bro, bro's looking real drowsy right now. Um, I don't want to risk him um, doing strange stuff. So we're going to go Corvi and you turn out. This could get dangerous. I don't, what I don't want is, well, if I burn him, then he's finished. But I don't want him tearing and getting burned. If he tears and gets burned, and he's power trip, he's like Terra Dark or something. And my Corver Knight would just Iron Defense 1v1 him. Cause I'm thinking, the what's the worst case scenario? The worst case scenario would be him waking up versus my walking wake. So he, he does all that and just gets finished. Uh, Blood Moon will destroy my uh, Tornadoes, which is insane. Uh, but it won't destroy my Corviknight. Corviknight is that guy here. So I'll go for your little Blood Moon. Oh, Moonlight. Oh, no. 
So we roost first. Cause he's not know he's gonna blood moon and then we can U turn out. Uh into the wake. Wake me up inside. No. Uh but yeah, wake is you know how we get down when I use wake, which is why I don't use wake super often, because it's just not fair. Like this guy is just not fair. Uh seems I'm curious as to what is counterplay to me even not not even sun boosted steam. Like what is this gonna do? It's 53. Yeah, bro's tripping. <laughs> He's about to power trip, which makes this even funnier. But I'll stall out if he's slower than... How? Even no speed Corviknight after an agility is faster than... Let me see. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's 70. Yeah, it's not actually. I'm lying. Wow, that's that's not that slow, but it's not that fast. No, it is... Wait. 150. No, actually, it's not. It's like just a few points slower. So this little pest right here. You know what I want to do? I want to do some man activity and go straight ogre pond and just win the speed tie and show this guy was really good obviously i have um torn speed and, and things of that nature this could be problematic if it wins enough um uh Torkoal has to not get hexed I'll go hard, Ogre Pine. Try again to Storage Dance. And I'll just win the tie. Because <laughs> my Ogre Pond Cornerstone has done nothing. So at the very least, this is this is what you owe me, Ogre Pond uh, Cornerstone. You win. You deserve to just knock this shit out right now. Knock your brother out. Knock your brother out. Show him why you're the superior Ogre Pond. Show him why you're his true counter. Bro wanted no smoke with me. And bro wanted no smoke with this guy. I could power whip. Um, I could power whip, but I'd faint if I don't get in my way. Uh, I do need to make sure my torn is a little healthier though, so I can hurricane or break wind storm. Um, so let me just go to this real quick. I figured he'd wave there. Um, <laughs> don't say that. Actually, uh, vacuum wave. Uh, he's just life orb. Uh, to like uh, he blood moves here. He's finished. He moonlights. Okay, I should switch now. Even if he doesn't, uh, I don't need this much health. Blood moon hurts, but um, the positioning uh, is way better because then his ogre pond can't set up versus my wake. Hmm. I'm debating how I want to go about this. Yeah, I figured he'd switch as a balloon. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. This is perfect. Okay. And now this allows me to go hard. Uh, is it worth it to do that? I was gonna go hard tusk. Uh, he shadow balls here. There are a couple of things I can do. Hard tusk means he does. Okay, this is like amazing. Quake of Val, I couldn't have asked for a better situation because Quake of Val is under sun, so it can't actually hurt my tusk very much. Uh, and I get to rapid spin here, which might seal the deal. See what he goes for. Oh, he spins. I think it's over. Unless he has a terror I'm not aware of. Since Torco is at full, I'm not... The Ogre Pond is a problem, but it doesn't have to be. If his Goldengo dies, then my Corviknight finishes. So he goes Ogre Pond, which is insane. I don't get that. I don't get the Ogre Pond play at all. Is there something I'm missing? You has to be. It can only tear into a fire type. Yeah, this game's guaranteed over now. Did he already tear? He didn't tear yet, did he? That fucking banded tusk is no motherfucking joke. Uh, Luna might live. 
I mean, because he's Moonlight, it's probably max HP. Ah, uh, not necessarily. Not necessarily. But now it's, it's finished, because the Walking Wake. The only thing Wake couldn't deal with was the Ogre Pond. Yeah, so this is probably finished. Uh, I've been hearing uh, word around town is that these are running Terra uh, uh, Poison. Uh, Life Orb definitely finishes them. GG, I <laughs> said Professor. Um, shout out to my man, uh, little pretty fry dog. Oh, bro, your name is cursed, bro. Can't support it. Cannot support such a name. That's where we're going to end the live today. Why? Because I, uh, for retention rates, actually, yesterday live, well, I was just grinding, so it was whatever. But, uh, I'm trying out the shout outs to everybody who's been remembering to leave um, a like for the videos they enjoy as well. Like uh, that's been really helping the channel grow, having other people find uh, who are looking to get better competitive mods find uh, the channel. Uh, but yeah, it's you know testing this out to see. Okay, play with long lives, short lives. How's YouTube treating them? All that stuff and mix and match it right. So that's why this one's under thirty ish. We could grab another. I'm enjoying the team actually, but yeah. Hopefully y'all enjoyed, gonna leave you craving more, and I'll see you in the next one, peace.